everyone. Welcome to the show, guys. This is uh, this is uh, what tools inside. We're we're going to be featuring some really cool stuff today, and we can't wait to get into it. But uh, I'm Matt. This is Josh. If you have any questions throughout today's show, feel free to ask us. Uh, no, Josh is not single. That's usually a regular question that we get on this show. Is, is Josh single? No, yeah. oh, I know. No, he's not. He's not. He's taken. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something that's very important in your home, and that is your indoor temperature. temperature your your comfort level in your home. Right. Okay. You know, a lot of people, what happens is you you uh, you focus on the actual temperature, and that's it. You know, so you set it at seventy eight, and then and then and that's you're okay. it. You think it's over. But there are lots of times where humidity is a huge factor. Yeah. Especially in places like Florida, uh, we're living in. Uh, uh, you know, any coastal areas. Anytime you're underground, like in basements. In, yeah, things is, like that. So pretty much everywhere. You have uh, um, uh, any kind of a wine cellar. You know, you need you, that needs to be at the exact right temperature. Um, and we're going to talk about some tools that are And going oftentimes uh, uh, in construction sites, like when you're acclimating hardwood floors and things like that to be able to install a new hardwood floor, yeah. the temperature has to be right. Uh, or when you're, you're going to be putting in any kind of product, maybe you're putting on a type of wallpaper on the wall or whatever, the, the temperature in the room has to be a certain temperature. Yep. The uh, humidity level has to be right. So we have, there's tools for that. We want to show you guys some, some great things. Also a full-on weather station we're going to show you. Um, and uh, that's... It's a, it's a great great line from Gobi. You know, we, we, we uh, yeah, it's all Gobi stuff that we're going to be talking about. We're going to show you how to how it integrates with the app, uh, the Gobi app, uh, home app, and uh, it's, it's great. But, you know, it reminds me of back when we were growing up, because we're brothers, obviously. Um, the, we had a obviously, humidifier. Obviously, why would you say obviously? No. Do I look that much like you? We don't look alike, we sound alike. No, you're a foot taller, and I'm a foot fatter. That's, that's true. That, you know, so, I mean, they're not even close. But we sound as well. Now hold the phone here. Now hold the phone because uh, uh, do you remember how you controlled humidity up in Canada when we lived up in Canada? You added oh, you, when you, you added water to a hot uh, to a stove. No, that's that's to add humidity when it's too dry. Right. But 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 having a dehumidifier. Do you mean to because uh, in our you basements, empty, yeah, we had a dehumidifier because it would get so and then mold would be an issue. Buckets of water you'd pull buckets out of the air. Buckets and buckets and buckets of water. It's incredible. Otherwise, things get damp and mildewy and. It's it's truly incredible how and and, and you, you, unless you have the tools um, to tell you the exact humidity and, and 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 stuff like that, like you you need a hydrometer, and that's what this line of Gobi does. It gives you um, accurate information about the humidity and the temperature. And we're going to go through each product and why which one would be uh, which one is best for which situation uh, in and uh, as we go through the products we're going to break them down show you guys how they come in the box what the packaging is like and then as we go through if you're just tuning in and we at a certain point we're going to go back over it and do the one that you made a miss yeah and, we're, and, going to go and, back and over we're going to talk about uh how to download the app uh how to integrate it with your phone uh, and 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 how that all works, and then how to mount them. I mean, they're all, it's it's very simple, very user friendly. All of them, ha they all have uh, the user manual inside, so it's it's a it's a really cool line. Matt, which one do you want to yeah. start with? I think we start with the weather station. Okay, let's start with the weather station first, and uh, and we'll break that down. So now, interestingly, the 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 weather station uh, isn't integrated, doesn't integrate with your phone, but you don't need it to. Now, let me, uh, Mark, can you bring me that? Do uh, you want to bring it over now? The remote, yeah. Okay, the remote. So what we did is is uh, the wireless remote. We we took it and we put it in a different room. Uh, that's a, a colder room because so I wanted me, to show you a different. Yeah, let me just give you an explanation. So here's your main weather station. Okay. Yep. This weather station here. This is what sits in, which is what this is. Josh is showing you right now. It sits in uh, either your your main part of your home, so hanging on hanging on the wall in your kitchen. Uh, put it as a night on your nightstand. And uh, that's right. The, it can be a clock. It can be your, like an alarm. Wake up in the morning. You know what your day is going to be like. Just exactly. Like that. You know the, the the temperature in the house currently is seventy point nine degrees. Is it right. Um, and it's sixty two percent humid. Humid, which is high humidity. But this uh, this is an office, right? This is a, this is a, now it comes with this little film on it. So you, protective film. You pull the film right off. Yeah. Okay, so now you've got a nice clean, brand new clean screen. Brand new screen. Right, and it tells you. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, let me bring that up there. Here, you bring it up. I'm going to tell them some of the features of it. Right. So they can see it. You got to clearly see this item. Right. So this here 
right? You have the you have your your, your twelve hour forecast, the current temperature, uh, the moon phase. Right? It, this it, is a pretty exciting one. It's pretty cool. So what happens is you can get different remotes, separate re remotes, and have different channels. And so what happens is this is the remote, right? It's it, it's a it's a port it's a, a remote sensor. So you take this in this room. It's a different temperature. Now if you want to check. Uh, uh, your other room or you put this in your wine cellar or your cigar room or or your instrument room that you know guitars and stuff they have to uh, you know they have to stay dry so you would put this in there and it would tell you exactly that temperature in the room and, and right elsewhere so this can hang um, you can have this in your garage if you want you can have it in different places where you want you need to know what the temperature of that room is even as simple as this maybe you have a, an infant okay and you want to make sure that the temperature in that room is staying a specific temperature. Yeah. You can have this remotely tell you yes. what that's going to so, be. Is something else, another uh, another real nice feature here, Matt, is that I've, I've been showing you without it plugged in, right? So that means it has batteries. Now that's especially important if, um, it's like a, it's like a, a, what do you call those, an, in a nursery? Um, monitor. A mo like a monitor. So if you lose power in the middle of the night or, or, or whatever, um, and, and you, uh, you want batteries. You have a battery backup. And so it saves all of your information and, and until your power kicks back on. Right? Yeah. And so this what this is. It comes with a... Uh, but what I like about it is it's got such a nice big display. Yes, very it's bright. It's colorful. You can change the brightness on it up here. Well, I just... Yeah, that that keeps... It, it, so, it, so if you're not burning through batteries, yeah. it, it, uh, it, it shuts off. So I'm going to put this remote, so technically, currently right now it's 72 degrees, 72.3. It's, it's warmer in this room than it is in the office. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the office. All right, I'll hold this. Hold on to that. Let me put this back here. Let me put this up here for you guys to see. What's nice is it's got this... Uh, oh, but I wanted to show something here, Matt. Yeah, put the stands so, up. So look, there's, there's multiple ways to mount this unit, right? So uh, let's say we want to put it on the wall. Right, let me demonstrate... Uh, how to put that on the wall. Um, uh, you, you get a screw. All right, let me get you some my little drill there, man. Here's your drill. Okay. So you would go, you would go, now it's not heavy. Okay, so if you have to put it in a wall, you can use an anchor. If you don't have a stud. Let me get that nice and straight for you, Josh, so you know that, exactly where you're going with our laser level. Right. And so, but we happen to have a stud line here, right? So we know, and Matt's got a nice laser level on that, so I'm not going to miss. Right, so you take your you take a little screw that fits in that hole, and just do that, just like that. We're using the Metabo 12 volt here, and you put it on. And all you do is is uh, once you set all of your your, your preset uh, information that you want on here, because because you you can change the channel, right? So if you have a, a several remotes, then you can change the channel to one, two, three, four, you know whatever it is. Yeah, and then this just goes on here like that, and it hangs on the wall. Then so they're crooked. Well, yeah, but it's not. It's not. You can. You just have to put the screw. The screw in a little bit tighter. If you want to have it like. Make it straight, please. As straight as it's going to get, and then you and then you can run a power cord to it, whatnot. Right. Or if you just want to have it on the wall and keep changing the batteries out, then that's what you do. Then that's what you do. Now um, another really cool feature about this is let's say you don't want it on the wall. Let's say you want to put it on your kitchen counter. And stand it. Right, well, you can do that too. Inside the battery, inside where you put the batteries, right, you open it up and you have these little stands that come out just like this. You put your battery back, you have a cover back, and then you screw these little stands in. Oh, well, that's real handy. Yeah, see, nice little stainless steel legs. And that goes in like so. And they stand on your kitchen counter, just like that. All right. So how long does it stay on, that, that display? Uh, the, the, uh, can I, I'm not sure if I'm able to adjust it, but it, it only lasts a couple seconds before see. it saves battery power. Right? So it might last longer if I'm plugged in. Just in case you want to know, um, in f it... it, it, it Five, it has the display in five languages. German, really? English, French, Italian, and Spanish. Wow. Here, let's plug this in and then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Right? That's it. So I can untwist this. 
Well, the guy has one job. It's the untwisted twist die, and he has, he's struggling. Yeah. Oh. Let me plug this in for you down here. Now this just goes plugs just plugs right into the uh, the DC the, the DC outlet here. Put that over there on your side, Matt. Okay. Around you. All right. Let's move some stuff around here. A little bit short. That's all. And there you go. And so so yeah, as you can see, it's it's the 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 display is staying on. So if you were to unplug that, Matt, the, the display goes off quickly, rather quickly, because it's saving batteries. Because to have that brightness, you'll burn through your batteries pretty quickly. Right. Um, but it'll stay like that, and, uh, and, and it's, it's really quite interesting. But I don't know if you can see from there. I hope you can. But you can see that the, the sunshine is like flashing. Right. Maybe you lock your wheel. The sunshine is flashing. Um, so showing that you had sunshine here, a sun, a sunshiny day. This gives you a 12-hour forecast. Let's just see what else it's got. It's got some really great features here. Uh, there's an arrow indi icon indicates how humidity changes, whether it's going to go up or down. Right, so it's that's going that's down. Right now, yeah, you've got this little directional going down. This little, it's got a little curve on the arrow showing that it's going down. Uh, you're at 81 degrees in here right now, which it feels like 81 degrees. That's outside? That's outside. Um, 72 degrees on the inside and out of the room. 81 degrees and 52 degrees... 52% uh, humidity. Right. That's going to only climb here in Florida. You're yeah, see that's only going to go up. Um, it's awful. Yeah. The humidity is awful. But I want to show you some of the other things in here. Barometric pre pressure. It displays... Again, this is the, this is the uh, uh, weather center. Yeah. Right? So yeah. This, this gives you all sorts of information. So you um, have indoor temperature, outdoor temperature, indoor humidity, outdoor humidity, calendar display. Right. Which displays in five languages. We have it currently in English. Yep. Uh, moon phase. So when it's nighttime, you're going to see a moon phase on there. Right? So which, which shows all the different... The, the crescent. Or yeah, the whether it's waxing or, or waning yeah. or whatever it is. There, you know that? That's kind of neat. Especially if you're a fisherman, you want to see what kind of... Absolutely. Right? Which most people are here. Uh, you got your time. Um, then you have a ma maximum minimum records for temperature and humidity that will, will update each 24 hours. There's a snooze and a light button. Yeah. Right here. So there's a little snooze button on the top. You can't see it there from there. But there right. Is. So it's when you have an alarm on, yeah. you, can, you can snooze it. Yeah. Let's show them. Why don't you go up there and show them that? Quick. There's a snooze and light button. So you have up on top here, you're able to hit the snooze button or, or the light button. And then it says there's a set button. So that way you can set your, your, all your timer. Yeah. And that's, well, that's else. at the back here, right? So at the back of this unit, you have, uh, you're able to change Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can set your alarms. You're able to change the channels uh, of, your, of, of your separate remotes. Uh, you can have your alerts uh, set so that if, you, if it gets a, to a certain temperature yeah. or, or humidity level, it'll set an alert. Yeah. And that actually, there's some really, with the rest of the devices, you'll see uh, some really cool features with that as well. Yeah. Now, hang on. I want to just keep going through the list of these things here, okay? Um, you can also adjust the maximum and minimum re record of the increase for the data. So uh, what you've got coming in and what you've got going out, you can adjust that um, whatever whatever uh, record levels you want to have. Uh, you can switch between you already said uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can switch between yeah, that. Yeah. Um, okay. Those are the main features of this for this device. Uh, you can set all the time and date depending on where you are in the world. Makes, you make those adjustments. But you see how it's such a nice, big, clear display? When you wake up at night and yeah. you look over, you want to have, you want to have that. That's yeah. one thing I don't, every time I got to look, I got to look at my phone. Yeah, I, go, I got to stumble around for it. Trying to it find is pretty it. nice. I would, I would personally, I would keep that on my kitchen counter because uh, that's, the, that's where I would want my information. I have my coffee. I get my coffee in the morning. I look at the weather. I see the, 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 you know, the temperatures of the different things. So what's really cool, and we'll talk about that in another with with the other unit here, but you can put that remote anywhere you want. Let's right? get that remote back here for a second from the office. Uh, and good. and I'll show because this remote here it tells you whatever the temperature is in that current room. So what kind of rooms do you think, Matt, that you would want to put that remote in? I would put it. I mean, I mean personally, I would have it in uh, my garage uh, because I'd like to know what the temperature in, and humidity is in my garage. Right. Especially if I've got special tools uh, or different things, I want to make sure that there's no corrosion or, or issues like that. 
I don't think he heard us. He might well, we'll grab it for us. Maybe we'll get it. Um, other places, like I said, maybe you have a special room that you want to have um, like your musical instruments in, you want that. But a lot of people have basements. And in basements, the humidity levels can, can grow very quickly because your, your walls are surrounded with, with groundwater. Um, oftentimes. So you've got your, you know, barriers keeping the water out, but the moisture can sometimes wick through and through your block or through your concrete and your humidity levels will grow in your basement. Right. So, so what's the, what's the worst part about humidity? Corrosion. Corrosion? I don't know. What, I don't know where you're going with that. It's, I don't know it's, it's, it's mold. Uh, mold, yes. It's mold. Mold is the, is, is the, the ultimate worst thing yeah. about humidity because it just gives that bacteria uh, a perfect growing habitat, right? So that's why this, I was thinking along the same lines as basements and whatnot, um, but more like campers. Yeah. Uh, campers in your backyard, because you're not in there constantly, right? Um, uh, so you don't know what it is, but but if you have something like, again, we're gonna talk about a little bit yeah, more later other on. some other devices that are more specific But to you that can need, put but... this in that camper, and then when it gets- close enough, yeah. And, and well, it, it, it reaches, does it tell you how many feet it I don't it know goes? what the range is on this. Let's just see if it tells you. Um, but, but then once it goes, you can set an, a, an alert. Yeah, uh, 229 feet. I mean, how big is your property? You got your, you know what I mean? It'll, it'll, it'll read it in the camper in, in your driveway. So 164 to 229 feet. I imagine that's without if you have anything in the way. Right, or, you know. stuff like that. Right, sure. But so, so you'd put that in there, and then when it gets to a certain temperature, well, it's too humid? Well, then you get a little damp rid or, uh, or uh, um, um, mold axe, whatever it's called. And you throw it in there and it sucks the moisture out or you or you turn on your dehumidifier so this way when you go to use your camper next time there's no mold growing in it because it was too humid you're going to want to make sure too because these are electronic devices you're going to want to make sure that the units are at least six feet away from uh it says tv monitors or computer monitors right, that makes sense that yeah, kind of thing sure. so it doesn't interfere with it and also metal windows if there's if you got a metal window frame interfere. keep it away from the metal window frame right yeah. But yeah, so that's really nice, and, and, and the, the display is really pretty on this sp specific unit. Yeah. Uh, this, this specific unit is the model is H5073 that we're talking about. It's in the carousel, H5073. H5073. And, uh, Again, that comes with this. And, oh, this, that's the other thing. Comes with the monitor and the remote. Right now, sensor. all of the products that we're talking about are, are huge sales and discounts going on right now. I think yeah. this one here is like $8 off. Um, on this specific yeah, so unit. now is the time. Even if you're thinking we'll get one at a later time, now is the time to grab that right. Click that button. Yeah, that deal. Make sure you uh, you grab that, throw that in your cart. It's a hot um, deal right now. Yeah, and it's also these also make really great gifts too, yeah. like uh, you know for sure. a family member who who's really you know, really wants to know the weather on a regular basis. Like a dad would love to have this. Sure. Yeah. You know, um, but also if you have if you know anybody who has specific rooms that have to maintain a specific temperature all the time. Right. That's, that's, that's the one. For. So let's put this aside for now. We're going right. to talk about a different one. Now, get me that um, uh, that little the, the little keychain one. It's okay. not a key, no th that one. Okay. So along with that same idea is you have these portable Bluetooth thermostat and hydrometer readings. Okay. So this is a, a, a no frills unit, but you don't need it because all your information goes on your app. Now I already downloaded the apps on my phone. I want to show you how easy. And it how is long did that take? <clears throat> I'm going to show them with your phone. Oh. My phone's not here. Oh. Where's your phone? It's over there. Let me get it because I want to show them how easy it is. Right, while you do that, I'll take it out of the package. It is. I mean, it literally took them like five minutes to have the whole all of them all set, all set up. All right. So he's got password protected and everything. Yeah, here you go. Oh, yeah. You know, last thing I want is you to know what's going on here. All right. So it, it's as simple as uh, I, was, I, I was home and I didn't... Uh, have this, so I, I went to, uh, where's your uh, Google Play here? The Play Store? Yeah, the Play Store. Okay, let me get it for you. Maybe I should just help you with this. Well, Maybe I don't know. Like the phone, his phone is uh, just, it's all a million apps. No no coordination, no. It takes me a little. Just to be alphabetical. I do have it alphabetical. There it is, there, see? Right okay. there, bud. Just give so it then we open it up to the Play Store. Let me show them. You know what I mean? As you're so this doing is it. your, everybody knows what Google Play is. Okay, that's Google Play. And all you have to do is put in G O. V, E, and it, I haven't even finished it yet. And Goovy Home or Govi Home is is here. Right, Govi Home is here. And so then I install it, okay. just like that. And now I'm going to wait a minute while it installs. 
And we're going to show you this one. Well, that's installed. And how long does it take to install? It doesn't take long. Yeah, no, it's, it's already 80 percent done. This is the uh, this is the little Govi H5074, right? And then you got to pull this little tab out. And as soon as you pull that tab out, it's now powered up and right. ready to use. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and put that little uh, hook on the, the the handle on there. Right? Yeah, it comes with this little uh, this little fob here. So this that's exactly what it is. Now it, it's they, they, they have a couple of opening things on the app that show you how to do it. I'm going to accept. So what I'm going to do now is I, I'm going to add devices, okay? And then you see how th this, we're showing one, two, three, four, what, four, four products? Four products, yeah. They, I mean, they got, they got hundreds of stuff it looks like here, right? But what we're, what we're talking about is smart health products, air monitors uh, and, and whatnot. So what Matt has in his hand here, is the H5074. So, and it has a little handy picture of it, so you don't have to look for the thing. But I'm just going to click it. Um, oh, yeah, I, that's right. I should probably sign up first. Yeah. Let me just do that. You got to sign up for it first? Yeah, you got to, well, you got to sign in. Like, you got to create a, uh, an account. An account. All right, take your second and create the account. So, this unit here, you would hang this. Anywhere that you want to get that reading from. So this is something you could just put in your boat. You can put this in your camper. Uh, anywhere you want to get a reading for your um, temperature and humidity. All right, so I'm logged in again. Okay, so I've signed up. All you have to do is put in your password, your email and your pass, create a password. And now I'm going to connect to this. All right. I have it with Bluetooth on. I don't like having a lot of things on. My phone burns up. Okay, stop this. Okay. Okay, so there it is there, right? So so here is the device I'm looking for. I click on it, and it's now connecting. I don't have to do anything with that. It's going to automatically connect to it. And there you go. I'm done. Okay, it's connected. Now, I can change that name. So let's say I have, I bought four, uh, different, uh, units. four different units, right? And I'm, and I'm going to be putting that in the camper. So I'm going to put camper. Now I know that the information coming from this unit is What's going to camper? be in the camper. Now look at the different, the, the, the different information it gives you. The temperature, the, re the relative humidity, right? And it, and it graphs it to the minute. And, you see, and so it, it won't have a ton of information because we just turned it on. So let's say it's starting to rain. Okay, there's a storm out. Okay, and you're about an hour away from home and it's raining and all of a sudden there's a bit of a leak inside your camper. Yeah. That's going to gradually, the humidity is going to start going up. Absolutely. And you're going to notice right away that there's a problem out there. You're Absolutely. going to get to it. And so, and so the, th this will break it down by the hour, the day, the week, month, and even year. Right? And so it, it, if you're keeping track of something, well, maybe over the last couple of years, my, my wine cellar has degraded and I got to put some new insulation in or I got to put, you know, I got to make some. You're able to easily switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And you're able to set temperature alarms. This is a bit, this is an important one. Yeah. Because, um, like Matt said, if there's a leak in your camper or something like that, where uh, all of a sudden there's a, a ton of humidity. Or it's just a very humid day. Right. And all of a sudden your humidity is really, really starting to pick up inside your camper. You're going to want to do something about that. Right. So I'm able to set my temperature alarm so that if, if uh, so this is also something that's neat is, is you can have this wired to your, um, if you have a smart home, you can have it wired so that when you, throw, you if it gets to a certain level of temperature, then and it'll you, automatically it'll, it'll kick on the, the temperature, the heat. You know? Yeah. And uh, and then your humidity alarm. There's all sorts of stuff. Still not finished. Look at all this information you can put in here. So this is the relative humidity alarm, right? If if I don't want it to get more than 62 degrees, 62 per, 64 percent humidity, there it's gonna. I'm gonna put an alarm on here. And now it's going to alert me. What's the, uh, the... Should we try and see if that's how quickly that goes up? I'll put it in my hand like that. See if it makes a difference. All right, let's, let's try that. So I'm going to put it to the hour. Right? And then the humidity right now is 50. It's, average, it's averaging 51%. So what I want to do is I want to set an alarm so that if it goes over 52%, 50% 50 it's going to alert me, okay? Now, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to wait for that alarm, because it's right now 
at about 51%. We're going to see when, when I get an alarm. All right, but anyways, so that shows you, that's just the key fob one, right? Um, well, I refreshed it, Matt, you, 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 uh, My breath's not too, uh... Yeah, you know, it's making, it's, it's, it's warming it up. It's, he it's heating up, right? So... I don't want to pass out. That, that, that's, that's the... Yeah, look at, yeah, look at, it just went up. The relative humidity right now is 91%. You're maxing, just, that, you're maxing that thing out. It's almost at 100%. Where's your alarm? <laughs> I just got one. You just got the alert? Yeah, hold on. I think I, think I did. Yeah, see, there you go. Look. You just got... Uh, and it just now alerted you that your camper is underwater. Yeah. <laughs> A relative humidity alarm came on. And then you open that up, and it brings you right to this page, and it says, Good Lord, go do something, because it's 94 degrees, 94% uh, humidity in your, in your, your camper. camper. So you get the idea that's but that's just one right so and that's just a handy one that you're able to just go ahead and throw in the in so that's wi-fi and um bluetooth right so you don't have to be near it to get it to work as long as it's connected to the wi-fi wi okay so there you go so that's one map that's that one and this comes with a little um your little fob and that's all, that's that's it there's no other bells and whistles with that's this. what i'm saying that's, that's just, just that. the, that's the connects the, to the wi-fi that's when that, that's, this is the one that you would get uh four or five of these and uh and put in the div in the varying different different houses. Uh, now um, it has a little battery in it. Let's see here. Yeah, so you just switch out the battery if, once it uh, once it goes off. Right, it's like a, it's probably this, like a little uh, watch battery kind of thing. Yeah, button cell they call it. You know, like like you would normally find them. Remember, these are thermometers and hydrometers, right? So these are these are uh, temperature and humidity. Are, okay, are so we got our next one. So we got that one. So we talked about the weather station. We got that over here. Now this is this. Year, I just wanted to mention that this uh -oh. is uh, is is fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks, and 15 then bucks. and you're knowing what your temperature. That's and and you can save two dollars with a coupon right now. You click that little thing, and you're saving two bucks. So you're paying under fifteen bucks. You're paying yeah. thirteen. And think bucks of the damage you can you can prevent. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. I by guess. knowing by having this little fifteen dollar item, even if you're at a job site. Let's say you have a job site, and like I was saying before, you you want to put the floor a certain floor down. And the humidity, you have to acclimate that room and that, that product to the, to the room. So if you have this in there monitoring it, if all of a sudden some, one, of the, one of the contractors on the job left a window open, all of a sudden you're going to get an alert saying, hey, the t temperature or the humidity is going up in that room too high. You need to go fix it right away. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna have, it can cost you days of work. It can, it can ruin your product. It's important to have a little something like that as a little alarm that alerts you right to your phone. So if you're in charge of something, you can get that alert right on your phone. Really great little for that for 15 bucks. Oh yeah, for 13 bucks. It's on 13, sale. 13 dollars. All right, next. All right, next item. Next item up for grabs. All right, so let's not talk about that's not this one. Let's get the next one in line. Okay. So this one is basically that same unit, except it has displays, right? So uh, you wouldn't have to open your app necessarily. To, to see what the information is on that if you happen to be sitting beside it if you happen to be sitting beside it but I'm going to connect it Bluetooth anyways yeah. again this also has a, uh, a a little tab that you pull out of here and the battery uh, starts right. working go show them that you, how you connected to Bluetooth and everything again that was great so this one's called this is the uh, H5051 right this is the H5051 the Wi-Fi thermal hydrometer now for this one again let me walk you through the process is you, you, you go to devices, right? So you see campers there already. But now I want to add one, so I hit the little plus button. All right. And now I go to um, Smart Health again, because it's not Smart Lighting, Smart Kitchen, or Smart Security, but they have all those. Um, but this one here is the, which one is it, Matt? It's the 05, uh, 5052. This, is, this, this one here, yeah, this is the 5051. 5051. So it's yep. your first one here. All I do is click that, and it tells me exactly what I need to do. Right, it's this one. So now I have to hold this button for three seconds. And then I'm gonna see a blink to start to flash. Okay, flashing. Oh, there you go, I've already connected. Now, where am I gonna put this one, Matt? What, what, what room in the house am I gonna put this? The kitchen? Sure. Or no, Matt likes this garage. He wants his uh, garage. In the basement, put it in the basement. Basement, all right. Basement. Uh, in the basement. I wanna know for sure if it's getting damp down there and ruining my billiard table. Basement. Right, yeah, exactly. And now it's, connect, it's connecting. 
okay and it's going to connect to the it's going to connect to the wi-fi so that you can do um now it also, uh, you can also export the data from this. Yes, that's what I was going to talk about in, the, in just a... Well then go ahead. Oh no, I'm not ready for it. You go ahead and tell them. All right. Uh, there's, a spot, there's, a, there's a spot in the upper yeah. right corner that says export data. Right, so you can individually export. We should have a camera that's up at our desk, so I'm not spending this whole time. But you can um, uh, individually export data. So look, here's my basement information. Here's my camper information. Right, and I can I can move it to to I can I can click and drag, and all you have to do to refresh all the information is just drag down, and it refreshes everything. So, um, in the ba so you can do it. So you you click the basement information, and you see how it has the temperature, it has your relative humidity, but now you can export data, and you can do it via email, and you can do it. You can set it so that every uh, twelve hours it it, it sends information. You would really only use this, uh, that I, to me, that system, if you're a professional. So if you have a restaurant or a, a cigar lounge, right, and you need it to be a certain temperature and you need to keep very good track of that, well, you can have that information sent to you and recorded uh, for maybe insurance purposes, right, uh, every, from every 1 minute, 15, 30, 1 hour, or 12 hours. And you can set your start times. So then now uh, uh, something happens to your, your, all of your supplies. Well, the, then, then uh, and the insurance company can say, well, prove that you've been taking good care of it and it hasn't been this. You can do that. You have all that information exported. So that's a really good feature. Now, if you're just a DIY or if you want that at home, you might not want it backed up so much, but maybe you're a fastidious person and you want that done. Now, that's a big name for a guy like you. So here's how the unit comes. Now you want to mount this on the wall, right? You got a wall mount for it right here. Yeah. I'll just slide in it like that. So you screw that to the wall. Why don't you show them how that works? Put a screw. Take that same screw out of there. Put it right through that hole that's right there. Well, what I, why would what I do, do you want to do with the sticker? It comes with the sticker. That's really what you want. You don't want to be putting screws in. All right. But with the sticker. Yeah, you take your little sticker. It's a double-sided sticker. Right? And it goes on there like that. And then this just sticks on the wall. I'm not going to do it because then it'll just, right? And you stick it on and the wall like that. And it. And then this slides into it like so when this is on the wall. Right? And then it's always mine. And then you can grab it and walk away with it if you need to. Right? But it's always there then. Right. Now, you can take the same system. Right. Okay? You add this little desktop attachment to it. Okay, this just slides up inside it like this. Right? Got a stopper at the bottom so it only goes so far down. Like that. And then you slide this onto your wall mount. Yeah. This here. And then it just sits there on your desk. Now it sits on your desktop. Nice and handy. And you can actually put this sticker on, on the desk. So you can mount that so that it stays in position yeah. on your it's desk. Yeah. Never going to get bumped or knocked over. It doesn't over. get knocked over or, or heavy. If, you are, if your phone is, in, is, in, uh, is close enough to it, with it, it'll pick up the Bluetooth on it and get all your information through Bluetooth like you were showing. Right. Well. Or. If, you're, if it's connected to the internet, which you, it walks you through how to do it, you connect to the internet, and then you can be anywhere in the world and be able to, 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 to see the information. Um, and then if, or you have it backed up, right? And it ex, it, it's exported, and then you're able to see in your email. Right. You got it backed uh, up. So it sends it to you. How it's all done. All right, so so that's that's that. a, what is this one? This is the uh, H5051, model H5051. Yeah. Uh, that's what that one looks like. Let me put that over here. For you guys were you came came with those little uh the little stands you know, separately this is the uh i just want to make sure this is the uh here make sure this is okay so so this is um uh 17 dollars right now this is 17 so this is 17.99 right yeah we're not talking which about is, hundreds which of dollars a, yeah which isn't a, a ten, much more than that unit there but you get an extra five dollars off right now so it's only 12 bucks 12 bucks 12 bucks for this Congrats, a really good price. That's very, very yeah, really good price. Yeah, it is really, really reasonable. Um, and, and so you can put that in. Uh, yeah, give me that. I, I love it. I love the system. And I love the information that it gives you in your app. Everything is right there for you. You just open it up and you're able to see. All right. Uh, see that. All What's right. our next one? Next is the, the, the is So we had one. the weather station here. It comes with the, mo the little monitor. Your or remote. the uh, remote sensor. 
You got this little uh, thermometer hydrometer that is just no no bells and whistles. You just put this in a spot and it'll it'll send the information to you via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You have this one, which basically does the same idea, but it also has the display units on it, and you can also um, export the information to your computer for monitoring and for different purposes. Yep. And, and then now and then we have one. this unit here, Matt. This is this is the. Uh, it's the same thing. I just want to see if I can find the price on this one. This is the H5075. H5075. Yeah. Okay, so, so this one here is... is uh, it, it looks like $12. You know uh, what's nice about this? Oh, 12 bucks? Yeah. And so, what's, what's, so also another really good price on this. Uh, but what's, what's really... And, and there's a 5% discount coupon code on, on this. But here's what's different about this. What were you going to say? 5% discount? 5% 5, 5 discount, yeah. So, it also, these, every one of their instructions comes with very clear instructions on how to set it up. So, it's, there's no guesswork. You can see how we're uh, just a couple of uh, regular Joes here, not really technologically savvy well, necessarily. I am. Well, you like to think you are. No, I am. Um, and yet, he's able to manage it and get it, get it done, right? Right. Um, but it also tells you if there's any troubleshooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. so, you know, like for instance, you put it on and um, incomplete reading showing on the LCD screen. Well, it gives you steps to, to, to take that tells you how to fix that, why, why it's doing that, uh, which is important to have because, you know, maybe you, maybe you installed something wrong or you're not clicking the right button. Or... See, in my hand, <clears throat> it's interesting. It, it, once it gets over 60%, a little button comes up underneath and it says it's wet. So it's, it's a very damp. And you don't your want hand that. is very damp. You're nervous. My hands are just damp, like a like a, a nightmare. But so what? I, what we showed you is I, I downloaded the app, and I've already installed two devices. I'm gonna I'm going to install this one, and I'm gonna show you just in case you're just joining us now. So how that works? This is the uh, the 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 Govi. What was the unit number? This uh, is the five. Back. No, I got it right here. The five H five zero seven five. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the process again. I'm gonna go to my devices. Okay, and you can see I've already installed the debasement device and the camper device, and it's telling you the information. Now these information, it, it, it's 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 they're almost identical. Now you take the smart health, and then you find this, right? There's a picture of it, so you don't necessarily need to have the information. But here it is. It's the H five zero seven five smart thermal hydrometer. And, and there it is. It finds it automatically, and it automatically uh, automatically connects to it. Now, Matt, where do you want this? You you want this in our wine cellar? Sure. Let's put it in the wine cellar. Okay. So so I'm gonna uh, you 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 name these different. Well, not everybody has a wine cellar. Let's put it in. Too late. Okay. Where do you want to put it? Uh, let's put it in the um, let's put it in the attic. In the attic. Yeah, because I have I store a lot of stuff in the attic. I want to know if it's getting if there's if there's if it's getting it's wet. It's extremely up there. hot and humid in the attic, but okay. But yeah, I'll know what the temperature not? is up there. Attic. All right. So now, again, look at the information. Automatically, for those who are just joining us, this is this information is being put on into my app in a display form that shows me to the hour, day, week, month, and year. You can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, and it gives you up to the minute information. Can you switch it on there from Fahrenheit to Celsius yes. on the yeah. app? You can also do it on the unit itself. Right. Which we'll show that in a second, right? But and then you're able to export the uh, export the data. But what's interesting about this particular unit and, and the others is that you're able to set alarms uh, or 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 minimums and maximums, right? And then you'll get alerts. So you can yeah. calibrate it so that if it if you it gets over a certain temperature, and you're blocking it with your other 85 unit. degrees. Whatever you want to set it to, you can set those uh, those limits. Yeah, it's really important. And then and it'll give you an alar alarm every time that happens. This right. is my phone, not yours. So please don't throw it down no, no, like don't you don't worry. care. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean, get yourself a new phone. Now, nice little display, and it's got this little uh, this little clip right here that comes up, so that you can set it down on a desktop. Nice and easy on your nightstand. See now, you know, Matt's temperature is affecting the different because he's got all of them here, right? Yeah. Now you're playing so so because it, look at they're all reading relatively close within a degree. All right, what's what's that one doing right now? With my hands are right, so that's a, that's the attic. Right? That's the attic. This would be this. It's, it's going up in temperature right now. It's um, eighty four degrees. Right, eighty three point seven. So and the other ones are, the other ones are down 
uh, almost a degree, right? So, so very, very uh, accurate. So and, oh yeah, see now it's going down. Well, my, that, hands yeah. are, my hands around that was it was at 78 degrees of now it's down to 70. It's dropping. The humidity level is dropping because my hands aren't around it anymore. That heat and humidity coming yeah. off my hands. Very interesting unit. Yeah, very very nice unit. Now uh, very compact too, like very ni nice and small, and just you right. put it anywhere you like in your home. So the difference between this guy and this guy, right, is that this guy here, um, the let's what's the name? What's the actual model number on that? This one is the H five zero five one. Right, the H five zero five one connects to the internet. Okay, it actually connects to the internet by um, Wi-Fi. Uh, via via Wi-Fi. Yep. And these other ones are Bluetooth. Okay, so so this one here will give you information uh, all, 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 via Wi-Fi, so you don't have to be next to it. Now, what you can do after you've done all that... These are all LCD, LCD screens, by the way. Right. After you've done all that, so I've connected three units, uh, you're able to set a scene. A what? A scene? A scene. Yeah. What's that? Um, it... it uh, a scene is... You're able to the join the same devices and control them all uniformly, uniformly, Uni uniformly, uniformly. Yeah, you had it. Uh, and so you're able to switch classes, uh, do all these different things, uh, and uh, that are not for, for for all of them. And so you're able to set it so that you want it you want it to be a common temperature, or you want to set common things. You're able to set that scene so you're able to monitor them all. Monitor them all. All right. I, I think that this was a, a very good explanation as to how all these things work. So we're going to go through them uh, a little bit faster, but we're going to start from the beginning to give you a, a, a kind of a, a step-by-step -step quick guide on how each one of these systems work. This, these are uh, all thermometer, hydrometer, uh, weather station from Govi. Govi yeah. makes these uh, many different products that connect to your uh, Bluetooth device, uh, some of them via Wi-Fi, so that you can actually monitor your temperatures from not having to actually be in that very room, uh, and sometimes even not even in the area. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through them step by step. And you're, I think you should do each one that's connected to your Bluetooth device. You can show them on on the system. All right. So go ahead and open your phone up with your big fancy password. Yeah. Anybody All right. So there? now I've, I've downloaded that app, the the Gobi app, and we're going to start with the weather station. All right. So this is the weather station does not connect to your phone. Right. It's it's a standalone unit. That gives you all the information you need on the LCD screen uh, and more. Actually, this gives you um, uh, the, the, the temperature currently. Uh, it gives you uh, the moon phases. It gives you outdoor temperature and humidity, indoor temperature and humidity, as long as wherever your remote is, which is that. This uh, is the uh, remote sensor. You could take this and put it outside. You put it anywhere you want. Up to what, 250 feet, I think it was, right? Yeah. Up to. 200 and as long as you don't have any interference. You're able to put it to 250 yeah. Hang on, let me just write, I'll tell you, right? 229 feet. Oh, 229. Well, 164 to 229 feet. Right. Well, that's a pretty good distance. Yeah. I mean, right? that's, that's... On a quarter acre, if you have just a house, in it, it's plenty. And that will give you the good, the outside, uh, outside temperatures, and or if you're in a different room altogether and you want a temperature from a different room. So if you have this, maybe maybe you have this set in your master bedroom and you have it set on your nightstand. Yeah. Oh, it's unplug it? Yeah, just unplug it, too. Hold on, then, maybe. then this one, this one here can maybe be out in the other, maybe in the basement or out in the in the kitchen somewhere or something else or in the front porch, uh, wherever to make sure that you can monitor the temperature in the whole house. Right. So All now, over. right now, what I'm doing is I'm setting the uh, alarm. Right. So I'm going to set a Monday through Sunday, 9:30 alarm. Go up and show them a little closer because they can't see it from that distance. I don't think. Right. So I'm um, see how it's flashing. Now I'm going to change that so that it's 9:35. I want to sleep in a little bit. You know what I mean? And then you set alarm. And then you can do it. You can change. You can change that so that I, you have to change the time. The time is not correct right now. But you change that so that it's the correct time. And then you have your date, your month, and uh, uh, and all that information. You have your 12-hour forecast. I think I just got an alarm Did from, you? from some from one of these units. Yeah, it might be. That one's over 50, because I put one to like to 50%. Yeah, I just, got, so, I just got an alarm from it. And so that's a nice feature. Um, and then, so, so depending on how many remotes you have, is how many uh, channels. You can change channels, right? I'm doing all this from back here. You can set alerts. All that information 
at the touch of a button, you can either wall mount this, or you have a, it comes with the little stands that are compact that you take those little stands off and, and hide them inside here in the in the uh, in the battery section. Yeah. Uh, but that gives you um, two options to put it either as a desktop or on the wall. Um, great little unit, nice color display. Clearly see what's going on, and it's a weather station, so it's telling you the temperature. It's telling you it's sunshine outside, or there's going to be raining. Um, and it's a 24 hour, um, a 24 hour weather guide. Let me just see what the actual weather forecast: 12 to 24 hours. 12 to 24 hours. And then also it tells you the moon phase on here. That's very important to some people, especially if they're going to be out, uh, you know, maybe fishing or things like that, or they're concerned about. Uh, um, you know, maybe they want to watch the moon, or maybe the different different facets of the moon phase that matter to different people, or just because you want to know what it is, waxing or waning, crescent. So, it, I, think, I guess we can talk about this at the end of the show, but I, I, the the other products that they have are are really cool. Yeah, and then we're gonna. I want. We'll to get to them brief, one, one brief, at a time. Brief to them, briefly. But here's the, uh, so that gives you all that on, a, on this weather station, okay, yeah. and it comes with that sensor. So that's the weather station one. Then we talked about this uh, little, this little fob here called the Govi H5074. Uh, this one's fantastic because it's a product that you just put into the room that you want to monitor, the area that you want to monitor. Maybe it's just in a cupboard. Could be. You know, yeah, maybe it's sure. just in a, in a pantry somewhere and you want to make sure the pantry doesn't get too much moisture or whatever. Right. So show them how that works on the on the app. Uh, and so basically, th this and this is a fifteen dollar unit. This one well. we called the camper, right? Because because we 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 call it the camper. See the name is there, right? Um, so you open up your Bluetooth app. Let's start right from this from scratch. Go right from so the, you, the so app. you open up your app. Um, I got a lot of apps. Yeah, it'll be. It's going to be. Uh, here it is. Here, go yeah. be home. It's, not, it's alphabetical. Okay, and then and then you it, it'll open up to this, and you pick it. So you want the basement? No. Uh, you don't want the attic, you want the camper. Right? So you click that. And then it breaks it down, um, the temperature. Now this is all over the map because we've been handling them and moving them. Now they're below 50%, about, right? The average temperature is 81 degrees, whatever the case is, right? And now what's nice is about all of these units, you're able to export data. You can send it to your email. Uh, so you can send it to your account email. And I'm going to send it to start time. And I, there you go. I'm just there. And that's this whole, that, that, all that information is coming from this unit that he was just showing you. Yeah. Connected to his phone via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. All right. They were extremely simple to set up. Yeah, we, we did it right here on the show. We walked you through it. How, to, you wanna, how to do that. You can look back and, and, and see how we, how we set it up. He did literally step by step. Right. All right, that was the, um, the Govi uh, H5074. They have a lot of different products. So we got that one. Then we discuss this one here, I think, right? This is the next yeah. one, which mm -hmm. is essentially that, but and, uh, also has a display unit on it. But it also is Wi-Fi enabled, right? So you're able to see that information anywhere. You don't have yeah. to be close to it to get that information and, or, or look at export information. Right. And what did, we, uh, what did we call this one? This one was called... Go on up there and the show The basement. Them. Tired of getting out of my seat here. I know, but that's what your, the job is today, the up and down. Basement. So you get the same information... And it, and it gives you, a, there's a, 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 a quick view here, right? So you can scroll through. If you have a whole bunch of them, you can scroll through. And if you see one of them is like, wow, that's way off. You know, it's, up, it's a super humid or super hot in there. Maybe it's too cold. Yeah. Well, bring, yeah that'll it, give you the... Uh, you don't have to open it up and look at every facet of the information. It just gives you that quick information. Yeah. And uh, so... Oh, I know. That's cool. I would go and show, but I'm locked I, in with I, this cord I, here. Let me show you something else. I didn't, I didn't realize this until just now. See, because those are all battery. Uh, they don't have a DC hookup. So that tells you your battery life as well. Oh, wow. That's neat. Yeah, that way you're not worried about running out. You know, so when it gets down to two, go ahead and change them. And then you're not worried about it. What did you want me to show them? This, this yeah, show them the unit itself. So this is what the unit looks like itself. It, it does give you the, the, the uh, information on an LCD screen, the up-to-date information, if you're there. If you're not... Then you can just check online. So uh, all of these products, Whoa. all of these products from uh, are from Govi. Uh, they make all these different ones for your temperature and hu um, humidity readings. And this and is the, the weather station. This is the last one. Yep. Before you wrap it up. Oh, that wasn't wrapping it up. Oh, I just wanted to like let people went. to know that this is Govi. Right. We're talking about. So most of these you can hang on the wall, right? 
This comes with a, uh, um, a sticker and a mount that you can either use as a stand or as a wall mount, like this. And then it sits on the wall, flush on the wall. Yeah. This you can use it as a desk or it comes with a little nail on the back as well. All the units except for the fob one are made to mount either on the wall or stand up on the desk like this. Right. So if you want to put it on your nightstand or put it in the kitchen counter where you can see what's going on, um, that's what they're all designed for. So that was this one. That's what, we, that's what we just finished that one. I love the display on this one, and it's actually very nice and round and sleek. And uh, what's this little button here? What happens if I push this, Josh? Nothing. Got to be, press and hold. No, oh, you push and hold it to set it. That's it. I get you. Okay, so you don't have to mess around with it. Now, uh, the all, they're all powered by these uh, AAA batteries. Where's this one? Right? So this one here, I can't get up and move around because I'm locked in here, but I'll show you. I'll go up and around. They've seen it. Well, they haven't seen the back where the batteries are, where the batteries go. So you, you can see what did I, what did I do wrong here, three right? batteries go in there. Triple A. Let's go with this. Clear. Oh, it just, you just couldn't. You don't understand. I, I have to help you. I don't understand that. Go ahead and put that together. He's the tech genius. You're the tech genius. I'm just the, I have the, the, it's the basics understanding. So look, if you want to put this on the stand, right? This slides that's up why. here on that's the side why. like that's this why. here. Nice okay. and easy, simple. I had it backwards. And then this slides in here like this here. See? That's it. Now you got it on a nice little stand. And there you go. And so those are all three mounted. Table. You could buy the, 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 they're all under 20, 20 for, for like uh, uh, 60 bucks. You got all of them. You got all of them. It's, I mean, how much is this weather station? Do we have, do we have uh, that one on Yeah, there? let me look here. Look up that weather station. Go be weather station. I think it was like, um, let, me, let me just make sure. But this wanna... is the, uh, this one here is the model H5074. No, this is this is this is the H5074. This one here. This is the one with the fob, H5074. Put that anywhere you want. Doesn't have any kind of a display on it, but that works directly with your phone. Okay, that's right. This is this is uh, it, it's 39.99, but you get a, a seven. For this. You, you, yeah, for that weather station, $39. Yeah. But it's a, it, right now because of the show and everything else that they're doing, uh, you can save eight dollars with the coupon. So what is the total? Oh, so, so it's you're like, down to it's 31 like 30, bucks. 30, 31 bucks. 30 bucks. It's over 30 bucks. bucks. And you have this, uh, and, and it comes with this remote sensor yeah. as well. So you can have information from a different room altogether, a different area altogether in, in one location. Beautiful little weather station for that price. Um, you've got this one here. This is the, I want to make sure I get the names right on these because you guys are going to be looking. This is the weather this station for here. here. This is, uh, okay, this is it here. This is the H5051. H5051. I, I really like this one because it gives you both the benefits of this and the display right but the other really why i would why i like this one so much is that it's wi-fi enabled so you're able to right. check on it wherever you are you don't have to be within so many feet right you know what i mean so that's that one there it's not just bluetooth it's also wi-fi but but again if you're a professional and you have uh maybe you have a restaurant and and you have uh, certain rooms like a cigar room or a or a, a wine uh, seller or uh, uh, maybe you're at a distillery yeah and you need uh, your, your seller to be uh, your whiskey seller to be a certain temperature or th you know humid you need these and and it exports it it keeps all the information for you that's that's an important <clears throat> a really thing big one I think where a lot of people who don't have wine cellars okay not everybody has a wine cellar mm. or some of like that is basements uh, your basements get I mean I remember as a kid growing up our, our bedroom was in the basement and it would constantly get um, damp in there. It's because you were a heavy sweater. I was possibly part of part of it. But you know the, the old blocks. They didn't have the 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 the, 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 um, the weatherproofing they no, used to have now. So the water would kind of wick through the block a little bit. So it'd be kind of damp on the wall, and that builds up mildew and mold. And so you're constantly cleaning it. So making sure that you have a, something that tells you what the humidity level is in your in your home or in your basement. You can take action. You can take a dehumidifier and start pulling that humidity right. out of the air. And it will alert you, all these different units will alert you when, when the humidity is at a certain dangerous level or a level that you set it to. Right, right. So you can, you can fight mold before it happens. Yeah. Kind you of know. the concepts here behind it. Just to make sure that you have uh, you know, the, the defense but ready to go. What I really like about, about these units is their price point. 
um, because they could be charging a lot more for these units. They're, they're accurate down to the decimal level. I'm getting alerts in this thing. And yeah, it's, it's us because we're... We keep playing with them. Yeah. We keep playing with them. And so they're sending alerts because... Well, yeah, hey, it's I got a relative humidity alarm. It came yeah. on. Yeah. So just letting you know, the humidity is at 45.5%. Right. Okay. You set this earlier where you... you where know you want, I wanted it at 50% and now it's lower. Yeah. And so... It's drying out. Trying out, and maybe you don't want it to be. Maybe you're a meat. Maybe you got a meat. Uh, yeah, maybe you need to have it at a specific dry temperature. Meat. So get in there and fix your problem. It gave me that little alert, just a little buzz. And I'm sure you can set those alert settings on your phone. Yeah, you know, you I, 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 I imagine this would work too. For um, um, you put it in your fridge, and it, if you're if you're doing any kind of uh, like what I do with beer, you know, you have to have it at a certain temperature. Right. And so. Yeah, have, when you make your home brew and if stuff. If you're fermenting anything. Yeah. You know, you want it between, you know, 65 and 75 But degrees. see, this is this is an indoor unit. So you want to make sure that you re recognize that too, that it's not, you know, what waterproof right, and, exactly. and all that. Right, exactly. So be careful where you're putting them to make sure that you're not uh, going to damage But there's all them. sorts of uses for them and uh, a really good product for the price. I re recommend Govi and, uh, and it's... And yeah, we've been very impressed and how quickly they connect to your <laughs> Bluetooth. You got no issue there. Within, yeah. within a matter of uh, seconds, you're connected. You're getting all your readings. You can name them the different rooms, whichever one they're in. Yeah. I would personally get a bunch of these fobs for, depending on what you know what, what units sure. you want to keep take care of, and you can monitor them all. Yeah, it's all kind of like having a smoke alarm in your house, but you have this sort of just hanging in, in the room somewhere, and it's giving you that reading uh, all, all day, every day. Right. I'm Matt. This is Josh. We're What Tools Inside, and today we talked to you about keeping the comfort level in your home, the temperature and humidity levels uh, properly uh, taken care of. Uh, make sure that you don't get the damage, mold, and stuff like that building up. And we did that with the use of the GoV products. We also have a nice little weather station we talked about, so you can actually stay up to date on what's going on in, in and around you, outside and inside, for now, your comfort. Now, thanks for joining us, guys. Remember, if you're not already doing so, play the game on our app. You're able to win tools all week long, and then we have a tool of the month at the end of the month, if you get nine correct guesses. So keep coming back, keep playing for your chance to win that. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We, yeah. uh, we have uh, some exciting uh, stuff for you tomorrow as well. Uh, we have a live game show that you'll be able to play right here on Amazon Live and have a chance to win many tools. We have uh, 10 different prizes that you'll be able to win. Right. So make sure you set your alarms so that you're able to be alerted to know that we are going live. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we have a whole gambit of products for you guys to, to have uh, fun with trying to win. Um, and if you're uh, on any other social media, you can pop in and join us there as well. But we uh, always try to get you to come on Amazon Live. You get a great picture, a great view of what's going on, and description of the products. And then you're able to see what products, when we're talking about it, you can just click it. If there's a special or whatever going on, pop that into your cart. Um, yeah, right, because so all, all of these products today, we're in the, we're in the carousel below. Uh, and now is the time to take advantage of all the savings. The additional specials on it right now. Um, and so you, you, you want to do that because, uh, because why wouldn't you? If you're in the market for this, this is what you're interested in, right? And while the I'm talks. really impressed with the price price range. Yeah, me too. We're not talking about high end pricing here. We're talking about very modest pricing and for the products that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I honestly Bluetooth. thought that these were going to be thirty, forty dollars per unit no, before I saw a, the price. It's a really, really impressive, uh, impressive price. And I just you, you have to set the alerts. I got all of them alerted on my phone, but you want to make sure that you get them to a certain point that they're not going to keep uh, alerting you. I'm going to put a couple of these in my house specifically because. You know what the problem is in my house is I have a thermometer on my wall. It's a, it's a smart, smart thermometer, but it's right by the uh, my my mud room, my, my washer and dryer room. So when that room gets humid, yeah, it gets that humid. That's and, actually and, a and, good and, point. And, and, and that's why that my whole AC kicks on. It's running for 12, 13 hours a day when it doesn't need to be. Right, and you, you can get an alert. And so I want to know. I want to know what my my the temperature is in that room, and and then so then then I have to know if I have to move that and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with one of these and, and see how they work. Thank you, Gobi, for presenting all these products for us today. We're uh, really happy to be able to have a chance to show them off to those of, uh, here on Amazon Live. Uh, thank you for joining us today, guys. If you have any questions or whatever, put them in uh, the comments. And otherwise, we will see you tomorrow for another show with Matt and Josh on What Tools Inside. See you guys. Take care.